Hello, I'm Ted Elsner from the Sacramento Fry Factor, and today we're taking a look at a comparison between the Regenier standard Fetterschwert and the Castile Armory Fetterschwert. So the standard Regenier, I've had one of these now for a couple of years, I want to say going on two years. I have used both the standard and the lightweight model of these, and I've been very happy with it. It definitely has a place in HEMA as a, as a standard um, training tool. And having just now recently received the brand new Castile swords, I gotta say, the two really do compare to each other very, very favorably. Now, let's talk about some of those specifics because they, they do really have a lot in common. The first, the blade on the Regenier Fetterschwert, it's about an inch longer than the Castile Armory blade. Um, overall, uh, just, just a, sh a short inch, and we'll go ahead and you can, you can see how that looks right now. Then, uh, the, the other difference we've seen, besides the difference in length of the two blades, is the difference in the length of the two pommels. Uh, as you can see, the grip on the, the Castile Armory blade here is about an inch longer. Now, something that should be mentioned is that Sam can shorten up the grip to extend the blade a little bit longer. So if you really want the same dimensions as a Regenier, he can do that. Uh, he said really without any additional cost to the, to the, to the sword, um, really the two being side by side. Now, as to the blades themselves, they are really quite comparable. Um, the overall width of the two blades is very similar. Uh, I would even say that the Castile is slightly thicker uh, at the Schilt than the Regenier is, but it's by, millimeter at the most. They're very, very close. Uh, one major difference, as you can see, though, is the size of the shilt. On the Regenier with this, the uh, spiky uh, shilt, there's, there's quite a bit to work as a blade catcher, whereas if you're looking for something a little bit smaller, um, the Castile Armory is going to fit in there very, very well. Uh, at the other end of the blade, we're going to find that the, the tips also have a lot in common on the Castile. He's done uh, a bit of a spatulating and widening back out, uh, not necessarily across, but certainly uh, in the, in the uh, distal taper, if you will, of the blade, um, thickening it up a little bit. Um, whereas, of course, the Regenier comes with a rolled tip. Now, the two swords themselves both weigh right in at about three and a half pounds, although to be fair, with this cross and the double ring on the Castile, it is going to be a, lot, a little bit more weight in the cross itself. Um, but otherwise, they both have a point of balance that is, that is just past the shilt or just in the shilt, depending on whether or not you have the uh, two blade, or excuse me, the dual ring or the standard cross model for the Castile, but as you can see, that's where our point of balance is on the Castile Armory Blade, whereas for the Regeni, it also will fall just in the front of the shilt as well. So, so you know, generally both are going to have a point of balance that's about the same on each. Uh, overall, we have found that the Castile Armory has uh, been holding up pretty well so far against things like Albion Myers. Uh, we, we had one go against Albion Meyer and it held up very well, very little in the way of you know any kind of blade damage or anything like showing up like that. Um, so overall, I would say that the two swords do have a lot in common. Now, as far as the amount of flex that they both have, I would say it feels about the same. They're both fairly stiff, but they do give enough to be safe. Um, you know, further testing on that to get exactly drop weights and things like that. But, but definitely, um, you know, there is enough flex in the blade to, to be safe. And, I, and we'll include a photo of that as well. Um, so overall, I would say that my, my initial impressions of the new Castile Armory blade really are very, very positive. The uh, price point is really difficult to beat, and with it being produced in the United States, saving on shipping, uh, Sam's customer service is really second to none. 
Uh, so if you're concerned about you know any breaks or things like that, uh, obviously we did have a couple of breaks with our older model. He turned around, replaced it, and you know hand delivered the brand new swords to us. You know only a five and a half hour drive to come visit us. Um, but even you know taking that into account, they really are pretty nice. I, I'm fairly happy with them as a, as a new standard um, potential fetish ferret for people looking for entry level blades for new members. Uh, I think I think they're really something to take a look at. So. Get out there, maybe you know, get to play with one and uh, have some fun training with it. We'll, we'll have more videos showing this in use uh, during our training practices, putting it through its paces in the weeks to come. Probably this Sunday will be the first time we get some good ones up. Thank you.